Hey guys, this is Cousin Tattoos, and I'll be doing a tutorial on Photoshop on how to do a cartoon or realistic ish shadow. Alright, so here I've got a cooking, you know, why not? And I resize it to fit on the page. I click Ctrl J to do create the layout. Let's wait. And look, I'll do this one thing. And after that, I'll make the curtain completely black. Here, I'll basically get my part up. Let's get completely black. You drag the layout, so it's uh, the second layer on. So put the actual curtain as the top layer. And see in a second. Oh, oh there we go. I'll click that. I right click. I distort the image so I can reshape it like that. Find it where you want it. Click the little tick once you are done. I think I'm yep. I'm done. Click the little tick to check it off. There you go. And what you do, you go and filter and then make it whatever sort of blur you want. And then you got a cartoon each other. Now for the half one, I think I'm about to start. Hang on, sorry. Alright. To get a shadow in the really place that I've got filled here, what I do is I'm just going to get my curtain, bring it over to this one, make it bigger, and then just put it in the position I want it, like so. Hang on. And then I use the burn tool onto the background and I burn how dark I want it. And you just keep on doing that until you get the right oh shadow you want. And hang on, I'm just doing that as right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost done I think. Yeah, but it's really simple to do. And I will be showing you how to put fake light on that one, you know. And yeah, use the dodge tool. Go back onto the person that's got there. And just draw where you want the sunlight. And you'll put artificial light into the gherkin. And there you go. The gherkin in the middle of the field. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like and rate. Go home for the